Hello, valued viewers. I hope you are all doing very well. Today's video is about one of those early 20th century experimental type locomotives that the Baldwin Locomotive Works produced and subsequently got a few railroads to purchase. And also it wound up being one that didn't last very long because the railroads that had bought them converted them into other types of locomotives and we'll get into that in a little bit. So the locomotive that we are referring to is the 2680 Kit Malay or Malay Kit, whichever you prefer. And the design was only used in North America and in Germany. In North America, only the Great Northern Railroad bought them in some kind of higher numbers. And also the Southern Railroad and the B&O Railroad also had one of note. So, of the 39 of this 2680 Mali project, 35 of them were purchased by the Great Northern Railroad. And while the Great Northern's Motive Power Department wasn't a major innovator in design, it definitely excelled in converting older units to a newer design, i.e. the 280 consolidation in this case, and they used the parts removed from the older locomotives, and this recycling of locomotives led to the design and development of the 2680 by Baldwin and Great Northern. So the Great Northern classified this new locomotive the M-Class, and the Great Northern number 2000 was actually one of the few that was actually built by the Great Northern. The number 2000 was actually built from an F8 consolidation number 1254, and that was built by the built by the Baldwin Locomotive Works in December of 1907. On January 15th of 1910, it was rolled out at the Dale St. Shops, Minneapolis, St. Paul in Minnesota, and that became Great, uh, Great Northern's first number 2000. The locomotive was built using a boiler extension in front in, and a front engine from Baldwin. And this locomotive was an orphan because they did not build one of this type again. And later, 1926, it was renumbered to 1999 and uh, rebuilt as a C4080, number 870 at the Dale St. Shops. So in late 1910, the Great Northern ordered 35 Baldwin built of their new M1-2680 kit Malays. So then the first batch of M2s were delivered, which were number 1950 through 1959. And the main difference with these locomotives is all were equipped with Walshirt valve gears and they sat on 55 inch drivers. And they also had a 200 PSI boiler. And all of this second batch were equipped with the Bell Pair fireboxes as well. And so the next batch of locomotives to be built were the 1960 through the 1984. And as delivered, they were all M1 compound engines. And they were simplified in 1926 to 1928 by the Great Northern. And then they were reclassified as M2s. The M-Class in general were a slow speed locomotive and they were really prone to slipping. And also at any speed over 25 miles an hour, their weight was very hard on the engine and the track. Above that speed, they vibrated with a lot of noise and the gauges would even bounce. The roughness of the ride may have been due to the large counterweights on the last driver axle and the lack of a trailing truck, which meant that during the reverse, the M meant every rail joint and switch point head on, which changed the angle of direction with a positive lurch of the locomotive. The M's only saw service mostly between Butte and Great Falls, Montana. And as for the B&O Railroad in this topic, generally speaking, the Baltimore and Ohio is widely regarded for its rugged, efficient, and often aesthetically pleasing steam locomotives. And while the railroad would regularly experiment with, with experiment with standard designs in an effort to improve performance, it normally didn't test unique wheel arrangements. However, the B&O did experiment with one of these oddball 2680 kit Mallies from Baldwin, and that was during the 1910s. The B&O was always looking for more tractive effort and more horsepower, and that was because they had steep grades in the west end of Maryland, West Virginia, and western Pennsylvania. The b and Railroad's version of this was basically a elongated consolidation, but in the end it didn't meet the railroad's expectations and the trials were ultimately canceled before 1920, 
resulting in the one and only example being converted back to a rigid design. And so the B&O's version of this was classified as KL-1 and was given the local no locomotive number of 2421. And as mentioned earlier, it was based on a elongated consolidation with a extended 20 feet of wheelbase. The KL once proved to be a very powerful locomotive for the time, and it nearly produced 60,000 pounds of tractive effort. Unfortunately, the B&O experienced the same problems with the 2680 kit mallet that the Great Northern did with a great deal of slipping in uneven traction. And so, after just five years of service on the mountainous grades of the B&O Railroad, their West End shops converted this locomotive back into a standard consolidation, which is a 280 wheel arrangement. The B&O's version of this kit mallet had 56-inch uh, main drivers and a boiler pressure of 205 PSI. So the Southern Railway had their original number 300 that they took possession of, and then they had two additional of these 2680 uh, kit mallets delivered, and their numbers were number 4002 and number 4003. And as a side note, the Erie Railroad also briefly had one of these 2680 kit mallets, and its number was number 2900. It was rebuilt to a 280 consolidation in 1916, though, and that was only after six years of experimentation. And as for the Great Northern units, most were rebuilt to 282 Mikados between 1929 and 1931. And this was because of the really rough ride and the damage caused to the locomotive because of and also the bad slipping problem that these locomotives had. And these Mikados built from the kit mallets were classified as the 07, and they numbered between engine numbers 3376 through engine numbers 3396, and that was in 1930. And then three of the 07 Mikados were rebuilt to 08 Mikados, Mikados and they were numbered 3397 to 3399 in 1932. So 13 of these M2-2680 kit mallets were not rebuilt, and they lasted until the age of dieselization for the Great Northern. And all were sold for scrap between 1949 and 1954. None of the original M1s or the M2s have survived into preservation, and none of the Mikados that were built from the 07s that were once part of the M1s were preserved either. Okay, so with that, the following specifications apply to the Great Northern 2680 kit mallet built by Baldwin Locomotive Works. The total number of locomotives built was 35. The main driver diameter was 55 inch. The adhesive weight was 350,000 pounds. The locomotive weight was 368,700 pounds. The boiler pressure was 210 PSI. There were four Malay compound cylinders, two high pressure at 23 inch by 32 inches, and two low pressure at 35 inch by 32 inches. The firebox size was unavailable. I could not find that. The maximum tractive effort that these units produced was eventually 78,360 pounds. The maximum spe speed was between 35 miles and 63 miles per hour. And as I say, the higher the speed that they went, the more that they vibrated and caused damage to the locomotive. The railroad classification was M1 and M2. And those that were converted to the 2A2 Mikados were classified as 07 and 08. And with that, we'll wrap up this video. And thank you for watching the video. If you enjoyed today's content, please hit the like button. And if you're not subscribed, please hit that both actually help the channel grow and turn on all of your notifications if you want to see all my updates also visit our print shop at nickelplate limited on etsy.com and we thank you once again